Hey Michael with X-Force PC. Uh, I want to talk to you about getting your multi-panel to work with Windows 10 or Windows 8.1. Um, you know, SciTech would say this is Microsoft's fault, but um, I don't have to do this on any other device I own, so um, I don't know that I would agree with that. And it's pretty frustrating they won't do something about it, but when you get the multi-panel and you run the little test program, you'll notice that the lights work down at the bottom but this screen stays completely blank and the same thing will happen in your flight simulator the screen will not show anything and you would think they would get tired of all the tech support calls for that but apparently they don't so I'll show you how to excuse me how to fix that um, so the first thing you do is you uh, go down to the little start or search box down at the bottom and type in devices and printers until that comes up got devices and printers and then once the multi-panel comes up you're gonna right click on it go to properties go to hardware and where it says USB input device you have that highlighted you go to properties then go over to details and under dis under there, there's a device instance path, the second thing down. You want to make note of this path. In fact, what you probably should do is just drag it up to the corner of the screen so you can uh, locate it easier. Now, the next thing you do is go down to the little start uh, or little search box at the bottom and type reg edit. And I will say you have to be careful when you're editing the registry because uh, you can mess things up in here and make your computer not work. Where you go to fix this is in H key local machine, and then you go to um, system, doing this from memory, and then you go to current control set, enum, then you go to uh, USB, and then you start looking for this device instance path which we can see is this one expand it and then this matches the second half of that number so double click on that and then go down to device parameters and we're, when you're highlighted on device parameters under the under the right device which you've matched up over here in um, the D, the device instance path you'll see enhanced power management you simply change that to zero and then you close all this stuff and you restart the computer so hold on and we'll be right back into Windows here momentarily That was the mailman. <laughs> they have impeccable timing. So does the phone. Okay, so now when I run my little um, SciTech test program, you'll notice I have numbers on my multi-panel now. Bear in mind, if you move this multi-panel to a different port, or you move a, your powered USB hub to a different port, you may have to redo this. Go look at you know the the device instance path make note of that go to the registry and edit it again because it'll change if you move it to a different USB port hopefully this was helpful and uh, happy flying